What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, once again, Roman Reigns has the best segment on SmackDown, per usual. Um, he was basically getting into it with uh, Adam Pearce, per usual, um, about what's happening at Elimination Chamber. Uh, I like that he addressed Edge, basically calling out Edge, saying Edge didn't want to smoke. He was scared. Like, I, I, I like how he's just boasting up his heel persona. Like, Edge don't want these problems. He, he doesn't want to mess with me. He knows what's up. So, I like that he uh, brought that up. Um, then, Adam Pierce is basically giving the stipulation of what's going to happen at the Elimination Chamber. And Roman Reigns is not having it. He's the guy that pretty much runs things in WWE the way they presented it. Presented himself now. Like... He chooses when he wants to have the matches and at what time. You know, I, I like him just really going with this notion like I'm the number one guy, so I get to choose and do what I want to pretty much. Um, basically, originally he was going to be in the Elimination Chamber, but uh, Paul Heyman was like, no, he will be at Elimination Chamber. He will defend his championship at Elimination Chamber, and whoever wins on the SmackDown side of the Elimination Chamber match will be able to face Roman Reigns right after, which I find to be just hilarious. I, I like that he has put himself in a, a, a champion's advantage. It's not going to be whoever wins get to face him at WrestleMania. It's whoever wins the match, the Elimination Chamber match on the SmackDown side, get to face Roman Reigns right after. And I'm sure they're going to be just brutalized like they're gonna be tired from the match and now they gotta face a fresh roman reigns kind of like what they did with uh i want to say was it SummerSlam or was it the next pay-per-view after SummerSlam? i think it was the next pay-per-view after SummerSlam. correct me correct me if i'm wrong but basically he was gonna be in the match between the fiend and braun Strowman. he was going to be in the match but he didn't show up to the very end of the match. And then that's how he uh, gained uh, the Universal Championship. So comment down below. Let me know what pay-per-view that was. I, I honestly forgot. Um, but yeah, man. Um, I'm liking this. A heel doing heel tactic things. I'm all for it. Roman Reigns. Best thing on WWE television as it stands. I love what he brings to SmackDown. Uh, I do like the fact that uh, Adam Pearce also said Jay Uso is going to be involved and Kevin Owens. And from I think I want to say I seen like some of the uh, like the promo promo art or you know the promo card for the match. I believe Daniel Bryan is also in the match. I'm not sure who else is in the match. So comment down below. Let me know as well. But this opens up storylines because I honestly think Kevin Owens is cool, but I think this storyline is it's met its course. So I I would love to see if Daniel Bryan. Uh, I believe he's in the match, wins the Elimination Chamber, and he faces Roman Reigns, even though he's going to be tired. I want to see how they're going to drag this to WrestleMania, because I'm pretty sure they're, they're going to find a way to get somebody that won the Elimination Chamber match to possibly end up feuding with Roman Reigns, or maybe Edge chooses Roman Reigns. Who knows? This is this is probably the, good, the best part of wrestlemania season is finding out who the royal rumble winner is going to face and this is probably one of the better times only because we have roman reigns as one of the best heels we have seen in the company in a long time man so comment down below let me know what's your thoughts and opinions who y'all think is going to win the elimination chamber match uh, on the smackdown side of things and and let me know if you guys are still enjoying this awesome heel run by roman reigns because i know i am but i appreciate all the love and support wrote to 40k. I appreciate y'all kicking with me. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.